So everyone, today we're doing the demo of the new 2.0. So this is the new Atlas 2.0. This is the uh, mounting brackets. And, and that's the computer. So once you've connected the sensor and the wheel clamp to the vehicle, which is a simple um, uh, push-on situation, you continue with the uh, with the alignment thereafter. So you do the pre-alignment check, mount the same. This here is Ashu, and Ashu is going to demonstrate for us how to do it. So I should just go back to the beginning. Okay, so he's got the tablet over here. So as he's going to the beginning. He's now going to push USA. He's going to push the USA. Then he's going to push the center button, the little uh, that one. Yep, yeah, push that one. Okay, now it asks for VIN number. The VIN number now is going to scan the VIN. Okay, the VIN now appears on the screen, and of course, the vehicle is now selected. So he, he goes to the next logical step. It's logical step based by pushing the green button. So it moves from one logical step to the next logical step. He then does the sub selection. Whether it's four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, pretty much either any of the two-wheel drive uh, specs would work on the two-wheel drive vehicles, and all any of the four-wheel drive will work on the four-wheel drive vehicles. Where he's doing the sub-selection. Okay, and then the specs will appear, directly followed by the uh, battery powers, which will be reflected on the on the on the screen because they're already connected to the vehicle. Okay, the other way to select is you can just select it from a from a manual, just push F for forward. Here we are, it's got forward. And you can do a manual selection to be able to select the vehicle other than using the VIN number. Here the specs are. Okay, he's now doing a physical selection of the vehicle. Just to mm -hmm. then their specifications are. So that shows you what it should be. Right, so there it is, we've got four battery powers at 99%. Okay, it will then ask you to mount your brake, brake pedal depressor. So you can carry out a case. So we remove the pins. At this point, we'll go back to your rear axle, and then it will go, once you select the green to your front axle, you can repeat the process. So once you've done that, and you've established that it is correct, switched it off. Okay, it will automatically project you to your, um, back to your original screen. And at this point, you can measure the wheelbase as well. Once the alignment is complete, you can now run a test drive to verify steering center. Push the button. So you start the engine, turn the wheels left to right, achieve center. Once you've done that, you hit the little green button, switch it off. Okay, and you get back to your, uh, back to your, back to your readings if the steering was in the center.